Your PC is on, but all you see is black screen, and it doesn't seem it's going to boot in Windows anytime. If you're currently experiencing this one, let me show you a quick solution. Everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. Now before we start, let me remind you that this troubleshooting tutorial is only for PC that has a black screen only after pressing the power button even though the PC is running. If your monitor shows the no signal sign like this, then we got a different fix for that. Just check out the top right side corner of your screen to check that out. Anyway, there are only two reasons why after pressing the power button and your PC doesn't boot to Windows to desktop but instead you only see black screen. Well, that's because of a hardware or software issue. So the question is how do we know which is which that caused the problem? Hardware or software? The only way we could know is by checking obviously and I'll walk you right through it. First, let's check out your hardware. I want you to take a look at your cable whether it be HDMI, DVI-D or DisplayPort, whatever you're using. Try to use them with other PC or console with other monitor besides what you're currently using. If you got a spare one at your house, that is, to see if it is properly working. After trying, if problem persists, then it is the cable. If not, then it might be something else. Next, let's check out your monitor. Again, try to use it with other PC or console if you got one to see if it is working. If problem persists, then it is the monitor. If not, then again, it might be something else. Next, let's check out your drives. And yes, your hard drive or SSD or M.2 could also be the reason for this issue. Though it is very rare for SSD or M.2, but happens often on hard drives especially if it is really old. Now I want you to remove any hard drives connected to your PC and use only your boot drive whether it be SSD or M.2. Then power on your PC. If your PC boots properly and you were able to go to Windows desktop then the hard drive you remove is already faulty. Some of you may ask, what if my hard drive is also my boot drive? What do I do? Well, you'll be needing a spare drive just to check that out. Since we're already in this topic, I don't really recommend using hard drive as a boot drive because it is too slow for PCs nowadays. So uh, buy yourself an SSD instead. I put some links in the description below for a budget but reliable SSDs. Anyway, if you already got a spare drive, I want you to unplug the current hard drive which is your boot drive and place the spare one. If there is no Windows installed in the spare drive that you plug, you should see this. Reboot and select proper boot drive. If you did see this on your monitor, then your hard drive is already broken. But if the problem persists and you still see the black screen only, then it might be something else. Which is... uh. The only less hardware I could think of that causes the issue and that is your graphics card. Okay, at this point you guys might be already worried but this is rarely the cause of having black screen on Windows startup. Now I want you to remove that graphics card of yours in your PC and ask a friend with compatible PC to try it out in their rig. If problem persists in their PC, then your GPU might already be broken. Might be, I'm not saying it is, or we are just facing a software issue. Now when I say software issue, this could be and usually is the graphics driver. You have to uninstall the current one and install the updated version. Some of you may ask how when all my screen is just black. Well, first you need to boot to Windows safe mode to do that. If you don't really have any important files in your boot drive, I think having a clean reinstallation of Windows 10 will also do the trick. But if you have important files and you are really desperate, just do the next step at your own risk. To boot to safe mode, you need to try to interrupt the normal boot process three consecutive times. While it is booting, use the reset button or long press the power button to interrupt the boot process. 
then press the power button again to turn it on. When Windows entered the automatic repair mode on the fourth or third time, just wait for it to load. When the automatic repair option will appear, just click advanced option or advanced repair option. Then choose troubleshoot, then advanced option, then startup settings, then click restart. After it restarted, you'll see the startup settings like this. And just press F4 and that should bring you to the safe mode. When you enter safe mode, right click the start button, then choose device manager. Look for the display adapters, right click whatever graphics you have and choose uninstall device. Check the box, delete driver software for the device, then click uninstall. After uninstalling the driver, you will be asked to restart your PC, then just click yes. This will restart your PC normally and you will no longer boot into safe mode. When you got into desktop, just install the latest graphics driver and you are good to go. So I hope this video helped you fix your PC problem. But if it does, please share us your experience in the comment section below. If you also got any more questions, I'll do my best to answer them all. Again, just write them down in the comments below. So that's it guys, if you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.